The Highland Light Infantry HLI was a light infantry regiment of the British Army formed in 1881. It took part in the First and Second World Wars, until it was amalgamated with the Royal Scots Fusiliers in 1959 to form the Royal Highland Fusiliers, Princess Margaret's own Glasgow and Ayrshire Regiment which later merged with the Royal Scots Borderers, the Black Watch Royal Highland Regiment, the Highlanders Seaforth, Gordons and Camerons and the Argyle and Sutherland Highlanders to form the Royal Regiment of Scotland, becoming the second battalion Italian of the new regiment. Topic History. Topic Early History. The regiment was formed as part of the Childers reforms on 1 July 1881 by the amalgamation of the 71st Highland Light Infantry as the 1st Battalion and the 74th Highland Regiment of Foot as the 2nd Battalion as the City Regiment of Glasgow, absorbing local militia and rifle volunteer units. Its exact status was ambiguous, although the regiment insisted on being classified as a non-kilted Highland regiment it recruited mainly from Glasgow in Lowland Scotland. The 1st Battalion was posted to South Africa in October 1899, after the outbreak of the Second Boer War. They were stationed in Egypt in 1902. The second battalion saw action at the Battle of Tel El Kebir in September 1882 during the Anglo-Egyptian War. Lieutenant William Edwards was awarded the Victoria Cross for his actions during the battle. The battalion was stationed in England from 1883 but moved to India the following year. In February 1900 the battalion departed from Colombo to return home, and in October 1902 they were posted to Jersey. Following heavy British losses in the early part of the Second Boer War in 1899, many of the militia battalions were embodied for active service, including the 3rd Battalion Highland Light, formerly the 1st Royal Lanark Militia, under the command of Lieutenant Colonel William Storey. The battalion served throughout the war, and 890 officers and men were reported to return home on the SS Dune Castle in September 1902, after the war had ended earlier that year. In 1908, the volunteers and militia were reorganized nationally, with the former becoming the territorial force and the latter the special reserve. The regiment now had two reserve and five territorial battalions. First World War <inaudible> Regular Army The 1st Battalion landed at Marseille as part of the Sirhind Brigade in the 3rd Lahore Division in December 1914 for service on the Western Front and saw action at the defense of Festubert in November 1914, the Battle of Neuve-Chapelle in March 1915, the Battle of St. Julian in May 1915 and the Second Battle of Ypres later in May 1915. It then moved to Mesopotamia in December 1915 and saw action at the Siege of Kut in spring 1916 and the Battle of Sharkot in October 1918. The 2nd Battalion landed at Boulogne-sur-Mer as part of the 5th Brigade in the 2nd Division in August 1914 for service on the Western Front. It saw action at the Battle of Ain in September 1914, the Battle of Ypres in November 1914, the Battle of Luz in October 1915, the Battle of the Somme in summer 1916, the Battle of Arras in April 1917, the Battle of Cambrai in December 1917 and the advance to the Hindenburg Line in September 1918. Topic. Territorial force 
the 15th city of glasgow battalion the 16th city of glasgow battalion and the 17th blytheswood battalion landed at cape hellas in gallipoli as part of the 157th brigade in the 52nd lowland division in july 1915 after being evacuated to egypt in january 1916 they moved to marseille in april 1918 for service on the western front the 19th Glasgow Highland Battalion landed in France as part of the 5th Brigade in the 2nd Division in November 1914 for service on the Western Front. Topic: <laughs> New Armies. The 10th and 11th Service Battalions landed at Boulogne-sur-Mer as part of the 28th Brigade in the 9th Scottish Division in May 1915 for service on the Western Front. The 12th Service Battalion landed at Boulogne-sur-Mer as part of the 46th Brigade in the 15th Scottish Division in July 1915 for service on the Western Front. The 14th Service Battalion landed in France as part of the 120th Brigade in the 40th Division in June 1916 for service on the Western Front. The 15th Service Battalion, 1st Glasgow, the 16th Service Battalion, 2nd Glasgow, and the 17th Service Battalion, 3rd Glasgow, landed at Boulogne-sur-Mer as part of the 97th Brigade in the 32nd Division in November 1915 for service on the Western Front. The 16th Service Battalion 2nd Glasgow, which was formed from former members of the Glasgow Battalion of the Boys Brigade and was known as the Glasgow Boys Brigade Battalion is particularly remembered for an incident at the Frankfurt Trench at the Battle of the Anchor, the last offensive of the Battle of the Somme, where around 60 men of D Company were surrounded and cut off behind enemy lines. Relief attempts failed, but the men of the Frankfurt Trench refused to surrender. After refusing to surrender, the Germans stormed the trench and found only 15 wounded men alive, three of whom died soon afterwards. General Sir Hubert Goff praised their stand under Army Order 193. Members of the 17th Service Battalion were painted by the war artist Frederick Farrell in Flanders in 1917. The 18th Service Battalion, 4th Glasgow, landed in France as part of the 106th Brigade in the 35th Division in February 1916 for service on the Western Front. Topic: Between the Wars. In 1923, the regiment's title was expanded to the Highland Light Infantry City of Glasgow Regiment. David Niven was commissioned into the regiment in 1930 and served with the 2nd Battalion. <laughs> Second World War The 1st Battalion landed in France in September 1939 as part of the 127th Manchester Brigade in the 42nd East Lancashire Division for service with the British Expeditionary Force and then took part in the Dunkirk evacuation in June 1940. As part of the 71st Infantry Brigade in the 53rd Welsh Division, it later took part in the Normandy landings in June 1944 and saw action at the Battle of the Bulge in January 1945, the Battle of the Reichswald in March 1945 and the final advance into Germany. The 2nd Battalion moved to Egypt early in the war and saw action at the Battle of Karen in March 1941. It then transferred to the Western Desert and saw combat at the Battle of Knightsbridge in June 1942 and the Battle of Fuca in July 1942. 
It took part in the Allied invasion of Sicily in July 1943 and, after a period in Yugoslavia, Albania and Greece, took part in the final advance into northern Italy. The 5th and 6th battalions landed in France as part of the 157th Brigade in the 52nd Lowland Division in June 1940. After evacuation from Cherbourg later in the month, they landed in Belgium in October 1944 and took part in Operation Infatuate in November 1944 and the subsequent capture of Bremen in April 1945. The 11th Battalion was converted to armor in 1942, becoming the 156th Regiment in the Royal Armored Corps, but with the men retaining their Highland Light Infantry cap badges on the Black Beret of the RAC. After the war The Highland Light Infantry was amalgamated with the Royal Scots Fusiliers in 1959 to form the Royal Highland Fusiliers. The regular 1st Battalions of the two regiments combined at Redford Barracks, Edinburgh to form the 1st Battalion of the new regiment 1 RHF. Topic. Uniform The HLI was the only regular Highland regiment to wear trues for full dress, until 1947 when kilts were authorized. An earlier exception was the Glasgow Highlanders who wore kilts and were a territorial battalion within the HLI. The HLI's full dress in 1914 was an unusual one, comprising a dark green shako with diced border and green cords, scarlet doublet with buff facings and trues of the Mackenzie tartan. Officers wore plaids of the same tartan, while in drill order all ranks wore white shell jackets with trues and green Glengarry caps. Topic. Battle honours and colours The battle honours were as follows Born on the regimental colours, representing actions fought by the 71st and 74th Regiments of Foot or the Highland Light Infantry prior to 1914. Carnatic. Hindustan. Sholingor. Mysore. Gibraltar 1780-83. Seringapatam. Assay. Cape of Good Hope 1806. Rolica. Vimiera. Karuna. Busaco. Fuentes de Nor. Ciudad Rodrigo. Badajoz. Almaraz. Salamanca. Vitoria. Pyrenees. Nivelle. Nive. Quote, comma, quote. Orths. Quote, comma, quote. Toulouse. Quote, comma, quote. Peninsula. Waterloo. South Africa 3 February 1851. Egypt 1882. Telephone El Kebir. Madar River. South Africa 1899–1902. Ten representative battle honours for each of the First and Second World Wars born on the Queen's colours First World War. Mons. Ypres 1914, 15, 17, 18. Luz. Somme 1916, 18. Eris 1917, 18. Hindenburg Line. Gallipoli 1915-16. Palestine 1917-18. Mesopotamia 1916-18. Archangel 1919. Second World War. Odin. Scheldt. Walcheren Causeway. Rhine. Reichswald. Northwest Europe 1940, 44-45. Karen Cauldron. Landing in Sicily. Greece 
Topic: Colonels in Chief. 1901 FM H. R. H. Arthur William Patrick, 1st Duke of Connaught and Strathern, K. G., K. T., K. P., G. C. B., G. C. S. I., G. C. M. G., G. C. I. E., G. C. V. O., V. D., T. D. 1947, H. R. H. Princess Margaret, Countess of Snowdon, C., G. C. V. O. Regimental Colonels Colonels of the regiment were 1881 to 1888 First Battalion General John Hamilton Elphinstone Dalrymple CB X 71st Foot 1881 to 1901 Second Battalion General Walter Douglas Phillips Patton Bethune X 74th Highland Regiment of Foot 1901 to 1903 LT Gen William Kelty McLeod 1903 to 1916 General Sir Henry John Thornton Hildyard GCB 1916 to 1918 LT Gen Sir William Pitcairn Campbell KCB 1918 to 1921 LT Gen Sir David Henderson, KCB, KCVO, DSO. 1921-1929, Maj Gen. Granville George Algernon Egerton, CB. 1929, General Sir Henry Horn, 1st Baron Horn, GCB, KCMG. 1929-1936, Brig Gen. Sir Alfred Granville Balfour, KBE, CB 1936-1946, Maj Gen. Sir Andrew Jameson McCulloch, KBE, CB, DSO, DCM 1946-1954, Maj Gen. Alexander Patrick Drummond Telfer Smollett, CB, CBE, DSO, MC 1954–1957, Maj Gen. Robert Elliot Urquhart, C.B., D.S.O. 1957–1959, Maj Gen. Ronald Albert Bramwell Davis, C.B., D.S.O. to Royal Highland Fusiliers 1959, Regiment amalgamated with the Royal Scots Fusiliers to form the Royal Highland Fusiliers. 1960–1970, 